Hello everybody, I'm Gleb and this is my 5G course on IoT Understanding channel. As for today, we're going to talk about uh, 5G video X architecture and uh, what should be added to 5G core network to support all of these uh, video X capabilities in order to support all of these car communication uh, things. So, um, but before, before talking about uh, this, I just want to make short but important announcement that um, still all of these thoughts, ideas and uh, proposals about video X communication, about cars that communicate with each other, it is still on the level of concept. It is still on the level of ideas and proposals, even for uh, 3GPP networks. Uh, but I believe and I'm totally convinced that most of these uh, ideas will be realized in real life at least for the purpose of su supporting um, in order to achieving a real self-driving communication, real autonomous for um, such cars. So, uh, let's look at this um, short and basic, very basic uh, architecture. Uh, here we can see uh, different cars uh, and uh, we suppose that that car is a user equipment. So, either inside that car uh, integrated a user equipment with uh, all of these capabilities or it is maybe just a part of a car like uh, onboard unit yeah and this user equipment a b c uh, they all of them uh, have uh, an application a special application in order to talk with the uh, video x application server uh, and uh, of course such cars can communicate to each other as vehicle to vehicle case via PC5 interface. PC5 interface, uh, it is um, uh, it is a radio interface basically, specially designed for such direct communication. PC5 interface may be based on NR or may be based on LTE and connected to 5G core network. This is very interesting. Um, kind of uh, um, higher from that uh, radio interface, uh, we can see V5 interface. V5 interface, it is interface, uh, it is a kind of just an application interface between Video X application for that user equipment and for that user equipment for uh, that Video X application that installed inside this uh, user equipment B, for example. Uh, so, if cars communicate directly, they communicate via PC5 and V5 interface. Uh, if car uh, car can communicate uh, with network uh, such case as vehicle to network and this communication is via uh, standard uh, radio interface ue and um, of course uh, this communication can be done via v1 interface it is still application interface just for communicating a video x application and uh, video X server. In, in such scenario, video X server considered as a part of a kind of a data network with all of these processing, uh, collecting information capabilities. Uh, or video X server may be, may be, uh, maybe inside 5G core network as a part of application function or a video X server may be dedicated uh, like in this example but 
connected not via N6 interface with UPF, like here, yeah? But video X server may connect to uh, 5G core network uh, via network exposure function, again, as a third-part application server. So it totally depends on different scenarios. Uh, so, when it comes to 5G core network, of course, uh, such every element of core network uh, should uh, provide provisioning, uh, authentication functions, um, all of these, um, maybe charging. So, all of these scenarios is still under work. Um, and there are just proposals and uh, thoughts about it. When it comes to user equipment, user equipment may have um, its own um, kind of a SIM card. It's called uh, Universal Integral um, Circuit Card, UICC. And uh, this card may have some predefined parameters for uh, communication via PC5 or for communication via UE interface with uh, a 5G network. And these parameters that predefined in that card uh, have a higher priorities than some parameters that may, may be sended from a uh, video X server or from 5G uh, core network to uh, configure and uh, have some adjustments with uh, that interfaces. Again, all of this, uh, it is just uh, thoughts and proposals. Apart from that, um, there are maybe uh, different modes, some modes, so, uh, kind of a broadcast mode, when we broadcast in information to every car, maybe a unicast mode or multicast mode. Um, if you want to know more about um, PC5 interface, how it works, how it handles and maps with uh, 5G quality of service, if we want to know about some procedures and um, um, broadcast, multicast uh, and unicast modes, uh, please wait for my next videos in that topic. Uh, I suppose it will be, uh, again, short but very dedicated. So, and if you like this short basic explanation video about uh, Video X architecture, you can like and subscribe and uh, stand by with my IoT Understanding channel for new videos. So, goodbye.